And Gail Bradbrook is an Extinction Rebellion spokesperson and joins me now. Gail, are you actually out the protest, Gail? I'm just um, a few metres away in St Peter's Church because it was a quiet space to do this interview. Oh, great. OK, well, thank you for the time you're taking to talk to us. What do Extinction Rebellion want to achieve by these protests today? We have a, an immediate demand of the government and the fossil fuel industries and the finances of those industries to say that there must be no new investments going forward in fossil fuels. As people are aware, 85% of the British public are aware we have entered this crisis. It's, it's now a time when the jet stream is breaking down and we're getting these incredible weather patterns. We have no time to lose in acting. And if leaders are serious about this crisis in both business and government, obviously what they do is stop literally pouring more petrol on the fire by funding new fossil fuel investments. But, but the leaders of this country are serious. I mean, we saw Alex Sharma going on television just l last week, the week before, after the UN report, saying that serious changes needed to be made. We have agreed that we are going to become a climate neutral country. Uh, most uh, uh, fossil fuel powered vehicles are moving over to electric. As a country, we only are responsible for, what is it, 1% of the world's carbon emissions i don't know anyone that doesn't recycle i don't know anyone that isn't as more conscious about their choices around the environment than ever before so haven't you actually achieved your goals unfortunately not the uk is facing an existential crisis it's the kind of times that are even worse than what we faced in the second world war and they will need and require us to step up and change in in ways that we have not yet faced and that's why we put a pink table in the middle of of, of the streets to say that we need to call come together and have talks about what this takes but you know lord deburn who is the chair of the committee of on, on climate change the government's own body he says we still haven't yet seen the delivery pro 